Roads are the backbone of our economy. They connect people and places, and some routes have been used for centuries together. The earliest roads were formed by humans traversing the same path again and again to get food and water. While early roads were just clearings cutting through foliage and forests, roads were eventually built with cobblestones and pebbles. Later on, with the development of many technologies, roads were built with concrete and asphalt. While the laying of roads might seem like a thoughtless task, it's actually very complicated. Connecting two distant places has its challenges of its own. In fact, even within cities, there are many considerations to take in before roads can be planned. Some of the things to keep in mind while planning to build roads are traffic volume, the nature of traffic, the temperature of the area, the topography, and geography of the land. The first step in laying roads is to clear the land of vegetation and level the area. The loose soil is then compressed to form a regular hard surface. This is further strengthened by adding stone and gravel. This process of readying the terrain to lay the roads is called earthwork. When the earthwork is done, the road is laid. The material used to lay the road depends on traffic requirements, land alignment and terrain. Asphalt roads are laid by combining bitumen with stone aggregate, while concrete roads are laid by mixing cement with stone aggregate. While asphalt roads are cheaper, safe and durable, they are very forgiving when it comes to uneven terrain. And this is the biggest drawback of concrete roads that tend to crack easily if the terrain is not smooth, even though they are environmentally friendly. When asphalt roads are laid, they need an additional layer of smaller stones on the surface to improve traction of the tires. This is because bitumen, the binder used to combine the aggregate, is very smooth and does not offer friction. You might have already experienced the effect of weather on roads. In extreme heat, the roads can melt and during rainy seasons, the water can damage the roads. Now that we have a basic understanding of how roads are built, let's step outside and take a look at the physics behind designing roads. Ideal roads are never built flat because when it rains, water can accumulate on the roads. As you can see, there's a slight inclination towards the right so the water can flow and drain out. But driving on straight roads is rather boring. It's the twists and turns that make it interesting. And why shouldn't engineers make it easy for us? Now, if you look at this road over here, it's slightly elevated towards one side. And this is called banking. Now, this is done for two reasons. The first is that when I approach the curve, the banking will automatically push me into the curve, counteracting the centrifugal force. Number two, even if I don't steer the vehicle and I approach the curve on the right, at the right speed, then my car will automatically follow the path. Designing curved roads is just not about banking. It's also about transitioning from a straight road. If you are traveling on a straight road and enter a curve that is rather abrupt, you are likely to lose control over the vehicle. This is because the centrifugal force takes over suddenly. In order to contract this, curved roads follow the arc of a spiral in which the change in radius is gradual rather than constant as in a circle. This allows for a smoother turn. So the next time you're driving, keep an eye open for all the amazing engineering that goes into building our roads.